the Agreed. college basketball experience veterans day dfs show on the sports gambling podcast networks presented by win bet win bets now live in arizona colorado indiana louisiana michigan new jersey new york tennessee and virginia from boosted same game parlays to live in-game odds win bet is what you need to win sign up today Bet $100, get a $100 free bet at sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash win bet. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash W-Y-N-N-B-E-T to claim your free bet today, people. Hey, what's up, you degenerate gamblers? This is Bill Burr, and you're listening to SGPN. Let it ride, baby. Behind me up. Let me figure this out. Oh, there, we man, there we go. We're home. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> P did. P did. He didn't. Didn't invent the remix. It was me. All right, all along. Pick Dundee. Who knew? Uh, I mean, this is a uh, this is a a Veterans Day special you have here, folks. DFS. We got the best college basketball slate thus far this season occurring. Oh, yeah. You know, we already had a game go on a couple games this morning. Uh, I took uh, me and Ryan McIntyre took you to the land down under to uh, take Detroit Mercy plus 10. Almost had that money line. Yeah, we played the money line, too, but we bet the 10 and a half as a lock. (laughs) Hope you cashed in, folks. Let's go. And in case you're wondering who the hell you're listening to, well, my name is Colby Swingin' Dantabase Dan, a.k.a. Pick Done D. That's not a pick. This is a pick. He was raised in the land down under, where a man thinks on his feet, speaks with his fists, and lives by his wits. When Dundee happened, he was a superstar. I smoke and I drink and um, I don't have stress and I'm healthy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This is a bonus edition episode where we're inviting you to come play DFS with us. We're going to tweet out the, the invite at TCE on SGPN. Come play for a couple bucks, trash talking rights. But we'll also, we've also given away lineups on this very show that have hit for thousands of dollars. So uh, maybe you don't even want to play with us. Maybe you're like, you know what? You guys are trash. I'm going to submit my own lineup. But you know what? You said a thing or two that I liked. So check those out. Uh, and I think I think you'll you'll dig us. So. Uh, I am joined. Where we play every damn day. Don't forget it. College basketball game every day. So we play college basketball DFS every day. Okay. Introduce me, man. Yes. And if you're wondering who that is, that is the DFS guy himself. Writes a ton of great DFS articles over at uh, sportsgallypodcast.com. Give it up for the rooftop IPA drinking. Homebrew making. Tobacco road living. The free lock giving. Farmer. Former Herndon Basketball League MVP. Give it up for NC Nick in the place to be. There we go. What's going on, man? What a great day of college basketball. This is like your first college basketball experience episode since the Duke preview. Oh, man. I, I might be rusty. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad, you know, I mean, how great is it with the season? Just, just roll it along, right? Oh, uh, dude, this is one of my favorite parts of the year when college football, college basketball overlap. You get games every day. You get football on one TV, basketball on the other. Dude, it's just a wonderful time of the year. College basketball is going to be a big weekend of sports. And then next week, I think, was when college basketball really heats up. We got, look, we got uh, Money Line back in the chat already. Hell yeah. Let's do this, man. There we go. And look, folks, come play DFS college football with us. Come play DFS college basketball with us. Like I said, we tweet this out at TCE on SGPN. Come join in. Let's give away these lineups. We got games tipping off soon. And I, in general, I will, I will say college basketball DFS is a little tricky the first week or two of the year because with the transfer portal going wild, you know, we don't know who's starting. We don't know who's going to get minutes for a lot of teams. A lot of times, you know, the, the, the college basketball slates aren't that great on a daily basis to start the year. So you got a lot of mid-major teams we really don't know much about. 
I think tonight is when we first have, you know, like the, the, the majority of like premium teams here, you know, household names tonight. Uh, and, and my approach in this slate was a little bit different than most. I, I'm going kind of stars and, and scrubs here. I went with a couple really top dollar guys and then had to complete my roster with some cheap guys. So usually I like a more balanced approach. I, I don't know about you, but I, I went kind of opposite that here. Um, I did win our slate last night, so I feel like I'm hot. I feel like I wanted to, to roll the dice and take some chances here. What do you think, man? What, what are your thoughts on the slate in general? Well, well, I'll be honest. There was a couple times I was turning in lineups this past week where I was like taking some shots, some some fuck, some really fucking big hail marys. Uh, this is one I feel pretty good about. I, okay. I actually last night I felt decent about my roster. Sounds like you're calling your shot. Sounds like you're saying you're taking home the money in today's action, which which really starts in about two hours. So hopefully you're listening. This is, this pod is not going to have a long shelf life, yeah. but uh, let's just do it. Do, let's do it quickly so people can get their lineups in before tip time. All right. My most expensive guard. And I am calling my shot. I'm going to win this fucking thing. All right, let's go. go baby. There we go. I'm taking you to the, the, the game in Florida with both teams that got upset as double digit favorites oh. in the season opener, UCF hosting Florida state. You know, Caleb Mills was the AAC preseason player of the year, the year he transferred from Houston to Florida State. I still don't understand why he transferred. I know there was a lot of cooks in the kitchen, but look what Houston's doing. Yeah. Caleb Mills at 5,900. I think Florida State bounces back. I think they're going to have a, a better you know game today, and I think they're going to get the dub essentially. But 5,900, Caleb Mills. I, I like it. I think he's kind of undervalued. Didn't have the best opening game, but – He's one of their veterans now, and he's probably going to be their leading scorer this year. I didn't quite have the money for him because I really spent up big time, but I won't name my, my highest guy right now because I'm going to stay in the same game. I'm going to stay in the same backcourt, and I want to take you to Jalen Worley for FSU. He is basically my money saver at the guard position, and you know the Seminoles are all kinds of banged up right now. Worley actually came off the bench in their first game. Uh with that said, though, he still logged 27 minutes, which was third highest on the team, and he went for eight, five, and five. That's what he does. He's six, six. He fills up the stat sheet. He's not going to score as many as Mills, but he's going to chip in with assist, with boards, and I think for 4.9K, it's worth the gamble. I like it. I like it. Uh, we got to find our battle of bourbon bet that we're going to do here, but uh, my second highest paid guard, I'm taking you to, let's just go C7. Boom! Battleship. All right, uh, I'm taking you to the battleship. Receiver Bolton. Look, I think I think Gonzaga is going to run Michigan State out the gym tonight. Yeah, Michigan State's a little inexperienced, especially at the guard spot. Receiver Bolton is sitting there at 5,500. His first game, just 11 points, th uh, three assists, two boards. Uh, I look for him to uh, bounce. I mean, I don't even want to say bounce back because they were destroying North Florida. Yeah, he's going he's to stay in the game longer. And I think the clear area of weakness for Michigan State is the guard play. So I want to attack that and give me a receiver Bolton. Yeah, and obviously Gonzaga has one of the best offenses in the country. I think it would be wise to get a piece or two of the Zags. And you know what? Again, he's not my most expensive guard, but we're in the same game. So let's just say it. I'm going to go the other Gonzaga guard, Julian Strother, for 6.7K. You know, I'm basically locking up who I think is the best Back, they're their top backcourt player. No offense to Bolton. He's a fine player. Strother's more expensive for a reason. I'm going to pay up for Julian Strother at 6.7K. Mm, mm, mm. So I went real cheap with the guards there. And, and my my top guard, though, if, if I can jump ahead out of sequence here, uh, he's the most expensive guard on the slate. I'm telling you, I'm going stars and scrubs here. Caleb Daniels for Villanova, 9.9K. Uh, he's the most expensive guard on the slate for good reason. He is going to be Mr. Do-It-All for Villanova this year. They're not a deep team. He's going to play 35-plus minutes probably. He completely filled up the stat sheet in their first game. He's going to do the same thing against Temple. Uh, all right. Well, look, my last guard. I'm on the Owls to pull an upset, by the way, against against the Wildcats. I saw you and uh, Ryan were, were both on Temple. I don't know about that, man. I, I do think that the line's a little fishy, though. That's the only thing that, that has me concerned, but I took Villanova. We shall see in a few hours here. Uh, I'm taking you to uh, – where? where's my sound job here? I don't know. 
Um, uh, let's just say I can't find it. But anyway, um, I'm taking you to Berkeley. I want to drop some acid. All right. <laughs> I want to drop some acid with uh, with good old Devin Askew. This guy was it originally at Kentucky, transferred to Texas. Now he's in Berkeley. And if you paid attention to their first game, they played against Jim Les and uh, UC Davis. A, they lost because Cal sucks. And he is by far every part. Of, he is everything to this team. I th- this You're going to see me play him a lot, I think, this year. Yeah. Played 35 minutes, 19 points, three boards, four assists. Um, I think he's completely undervalued at 4,700. So give me yeah. a depth rescue. I like it, you know. I'm going to have a couple guys in that price range here. And I think when you're in that price range, you're looking for minutes, you know, because a lot of of times these guys under 5k are, are coming off the bench. So how many minutes do you get? And if you can find a starter, that's even better. Uh, Granted, he might not put up the biggest game, but yeah, all you want is, is a decent performance at a cheap price, which allows you to spend up elsewhere. So I like the play. Um, That was your first, no, that was your last guard, right? Last guard, g- g- go grab him from Cal Berkeley. Hippie Olympics. <laughs> Doesn't matter who wins because they're all losers. Um, look, before we get to the forwards, I want to tell you folks out there that the college basketball experience on the Sports Gambling Podcast Network is presented by WinBet. WinBet's now live in Arizona, Colorado, Indiana, Louisiana, Michigan, New Jersey, New York, Tennessee, and Virginia. And from boosted same game uh, parlays to live in game odds, WinBet is what you need to win. Sign up today. Bet a hundred dollars, get a hundred dollar free bet at sports gambling podcast.com slash win bet. That's sports gambling podcast.com slash W Y N N B E T to claim your free bet today. Um, all right, forwards, what do you got? All right, so I, I mentioned I, I rostered the highest expensive guard. Well, I'm also going to roster the second highest forward, and I'm going to go with Gonzaga's Drew Timmy. Play the music, yes. Take me to the spaceship or the aircraft or whatever the fuck it is, right? The hovercraft, all right? <laughs> one of the top players in the country, one of the most well-known players in the country. He's probably in his mid to late 20s right now. Uh, I, I just think he he's going to show up in big games this year, and this is certainly one of them. Uh, you know, I've been tweeting out the big man on campus every day, the, 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 the highest-scoring uh, college basketball DFS player on, on a daily basis. He's going to be in the running tonight. I expect a monster game from Drew Timmy. I had him as my utility guy. You know what I mean? Had to pay those utilities uh, <laughs> for the first time in a long time. Uh, my my uh, top priced forward. I'm taking you. Uh, I'm taking you out to that game that you were talking about. You know, uh, the the backyard, not the backyard brawl, because we will talk about that in a little bit, but. Uh, the backyard battle between Temple and Villanova. Right. Uh, look, I know you're a big Christian Slater fan. Well, I'm a big Brandon Slater fan. All right. <laughs> um, I think at 8K, I expect him. I think he's the, you know, you look at the stats from game one. Eric Dixon had the better game with 20 points. I think tonight's Slater time. <laughs> Slater time. I, I like it. Time, maybe. He's a good player, and you know he's going to put up a decent game. I, you know, I'm a bigger fan of Dixon. I wanted to get Dixon in my lineup tonight. I couldn't do it. I was kind of debating between him and Timmy there for, for a little bit. I thought Timmy was a safer bet. But uh, I, any of the Villanova starters, minus maybe uh, Arcadiacono, I think are good plays because, like I said, Villanova is not very deep. Th- those guys are going to be on the court. I think it's going to be a close game. So uh, I like the play. Uh, but oh, we got some other guys in the chat here too. Now, Justin Casey, WV punch drunk one. Hell yeah. Let's do it guys. Uh, my second most expensive forward back to the Michigan state Gonzaga game. I'm going to go on the other end. I'm going to go Sparty's Malik Hall. He is Michigan state's returning scorer. And he played the most minutes on the team in that win over Northern Arizona. Uh, didn't, you know, didn't score a lot in that game. His fantasy performance was kind of average, but I think for 5.1 K, maybe a bounce back game for the veteran Malik Hall. All right. I mean, uh, makes sense. I don't want anything to do with Michigan state, but right? there's going to be some points in that game true, just at true. the pace they play at. I, you know, Michigan state is going to get, you know, I don't think it's not, it's not going to be like a 20 point game. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I mean, I do think his eggs are going to win by like 16, <laughs> but 
I, I, I laid the points as well too. So I think yeah. it's going to be a, in, in that range here, but I wasn't confident enough to lock it up. All right. Well, my second most expensive forward, I do still have a utility guy. That's a guard uh, is I'm taking you all the way to uh, back to back to Orlando where this guy was a former five-star things weren't working out with him at Oregon. He, he flirted with the NBA draft this past year. I'm going CJ Walker, CJ Walker. I know he, he didn't, he wasn't, uh, and he missed, I think the first game of the season, but I expect him to, uh, to look last, last season. It was kind of uh, lackluster. I would say, I know that's maybe why he came back about just under nine po- or points a game, six boards, I expect him to have a bigger, bigger game and be, I mean, not, now that they lost Darren green, yeah, the offense goes through him. So, uh, I think they're going to need him to have a big day. I'm going to load up on, uh, on good old, uh, CJ Walker. Makes a lot of sense. The only, the only problem with getting a bunch of players in that game is that game might be a rock fight, man. That, that game might be in the sixties. Yeah. You know, so not saying, you know, the play certain players can't carve out a decent performance in that game. Hell, I rostered the one seminal. So, but I wouldn't load up with too many players in that game personally. But, um, all right. My last forward here, pretty cheap. Antoine Carr, the big dog. No, I'm joking. This is, uh, Andrew Carr on Wake Forest. Uh, the transfer from Delaware. If you yeah. watched the Delaware Villanova game in the first round of the tournament last year, he put up 13 on Villanova. So he's a 6'10 dude, transferred into Wake Forest this year. He started their opening game, went for 14 and 5, and he logged, tied for first, 34 minutes of court time, and he's only 4.6K. I like uh, the value I get from Andrew Carr. I like it too because I, I I think Wake's going to put it on Georgia and and actually I'm trying to get done with this episode to watch that Delaware Blue Hat Air Force game <laughs> and Jason Thursday. says so much money bet tonight so many good games hell You're yeah right I mean uh, it's it's going to be a fantastic night right, um, so you got one more forward and and one more utility player right correct okay shoot I'm taking you to. Uh, to Morgantown, well, Pittsburgh, essentially. But I'm going with Bob Huggins. Uh, you know this game's personal for him, all right? And, and look at their first game. Their their first win of the season was against Mount St. Mary's. Um, and the top scorers were Emmett Matthews and uh, Trey Mitchell, the the former uh, the Texas transfer. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take a shot on Trey Mitchell. I think that's where West Virginia is gonna have an advantage. Is is uh, you know with their with their front court. And yeah, I, I believe uh, Hewley is gonna be out for Pitt. Yeah, that's what I saw. So uh, I'm gonna take Trey Mitchell. No, the only concern is he only got 13 minutes against Mount St. Mary's, but um, I'm gonna ride with it. I have some leftover money, but I I, I think I just think he. I think he has a talent. I think you're yeah. right. Maybe I mean yeah. that game was kind of lopsided, so he didn't have to play the the, the second half of the second half. So uh, I like to play. What's his price tag again? He's uh 4600. Not bad. A, hey, for that price, I like yeah. it. But uh, all right, so I'm I'm on my two utility guys, and so I could roster him here, but instead I went out to uh, Kansas State. You said Cal's garbage, so uh, Cam Carter is a Mississippi State transfer, uh, new in, in Manhattan, in the Little Apple. He's only 4.8K. Again, he started the game versus UTRG, and he was uh, he played the second most minutes on the team. I, again, he didn't crush it fantasy-wise in the first game, but I'm getting somebody less than 5K who started, who played meaningful minutes. I'm not worried about the opponent. I think um, he allows me to, to spend up on guys like Timmy and Daniel. So give me Cam Carter. There we go. I mean, I, I, I'm all over K-State beating the shit out of Cal today. So that's right. I like that angle. My final guy. Well, I'm taking you back to the game that you told me not to roster any players in because oh, I, man. I, have, I have a theory. Fuck you. All right. <laughs> that's my theory. And look, Darren Green Jr., you know where he was last year? He was at UCF. You know where he's at this year? He's at Florida State. So oh, turncoat. Because I understand how the bastard <laughs> thinks. I taught him. Now I own one. Hey, you know, if anyone's going to know Johnny Dawkins and the UCF game plan, it's going to be good old Darren Green. And I think Florida State bounces back. I talked about this. I picked him on the pick show. Give me the Seminoles. 
to get that dub in Orlando, they can't go to 0 2, right? They you wouldn't think so. I, I I sided with the Seminoles as well. Dre Young, college football. What's up, man? Uh, that was your last guy, right? That was my last guy. Dre Young and the FCS show is coming. Uh, I didn't oh. have lines yesterday. That'll be that'll be next in about uh, probably about 15 minutes. There we go. I will not be on that. <laughs> All right. My last guy, dude, uh, you know, just like college basketball, my, my roster is is loaded up with a bunch of transfers. Frank Anselm was at Syracuse last year. He flashed some potential there. He, he was he was a big man that uh, that transferred out, transferred to Georgia. Uh, his problem, his whole career has been foul trouble. He seems to get into foul trouble early and often, and he actually fouled out against Western Carolina in, <laughs> in, in only 13 minutes of action. <laughs> How's that not possible? A, not a good <laughs> sign. But, dude, in those 13 minutes, he put up 11 points and four boards. So just imagine if he can corral the foul trouble, get that under control, what he can do in like 25 minutes. Okay, uh, I don't know. Uh, you're asking him to double his minute production? <laughs> uh with, with with fouls i mean well so so here's a guy that's under 4k and he starts for georgia all he has to do is stay on the court and he can get <laughs> you know some points and some boards he's proven that in his career so it's definitely boom or bust just due to the foul trouble issues he's had in the past but I, again i think it's worth the gamble at such a uh, cheap price mike there it white. is boom. mike white there you go what's so, our bet uh that's a good question um who what did we you, take? Who'd you take from Florida State again? Warley. I'm Florida not. I'm not betting crazy. him versus Mills. He, he was only four point nine. I'd rather have Mills than Warley. I just didn't have the money. Yeah. What about him versus C.J. Walker? Who's five K? Uh, all right. Fuck it. Let's do it, man. Let's go. Bottle of bourbon on Hell the yeah. line. So, so in general, I think we're gonna try to sprinkle in these college basketball DFS shows when we can. I mean. Unfortunately, DraftKings doesn't give us that much time in advance, so never, it's going to be never hard. Heard of them. Sacramento Kings, you said? Whatever uh, you know, <laughs> software company that we use to uh, play uh, DFS. Uh, so anyway, like like we said earlier, we play every damn day only for a couple of bucks, kind of just for fun, just for bragging rights. So we will tweet out the link. Feel free to hop in and play with us. Take on Pick Dundee. Take on NC Nick. So uh, there you go, man. Let's do this. Go do, go do your uh, uh, FSS show. FCS show. Jeez, jeez. Stop drinking. You got a no, lot of games. I, I need today. a drink, dude. It's, yeah. it's freaking beer 30 here on Friday afternoon. That's true, That's true folks. We tweet out the, the invite at TCE on SGPN. Come join in. Play some DFS with us. It's only a couple bucks. All right. We're not trying to take your money. If anything, uh, you know. Well, I am, but. Yeah. I mean, I will take your money, but I mean, uh, it's only a couple bucks. So I guess you could buy me a, a few sarsaparillas, huh? Let's go. Uh, folks, subscribe to the College Basketball Experience. Remember, we're back tonight. Handicap of tomorrow's action. All right, me and me and Ryan McIntyre. So, folks, subscribe, tell a friend. Also, check out the College Football Experience as we got a great week 11 going. And like I said, the FCS show is on its way. So, folks, subscribe to the, the College Basketball Experience. Subscribe to the Sports Gambling Podcast. Come talk college hoops with us in the Discord. SportsGamblingPodcast.com slash Discord. All right. This is is the college basketball experience. You better start thinking about yours. And we out of here.